official title. Well, they put composer on the contract, but I don't really like to look at it just that way. Um, my background is a songwriter. Yeah, that's where I started, and then producing both my bands and other artists, and that's really what helped me get through probably the first 30 films I did, and has been instrumental in the video game music. And when I spoke to three of the guys from the team uh, in Montreal, I immediately knew I wanted to work with them because I like what they're going after, I like their commitment. I mean, they're fans of games, you know, they're not just, you know, churning out a product. These guys want to do the most kick-ass game because they love games. In Army of Two, I composed it. If you were to look at the music, say in Pro Tools, it's as vertical as it is horizontal. So in other words, to really respond to every gameplay decision, we had a number of stems. And so even though this, the sum of those stems might be, say, 15 tracks total, but if you took just one of them, it will still work as a piece of music. And what I did was give them way more latitude to manipulate the music and accentuate the, the aspects of gameplay that they felt were more articulate. Also, Lewis James, who's the lead sound designer, has developed the guns for this game. And they're so detailed. The sound is incredible. The perspectives are so unbelievably realistic with every environment in the game. It was just like, okay, man, this guy means business. I am definitely going to, you know, throw it down. We had like six mic recording setups and a total about 87 something microphones, 86, 87 microphones and recorded everything from mics on the gun to uh, up to a mile away. Then put all of those things together so that we're literally like looking at one big shot happening over the same, happening at the same time, all of the microphones at one. And then when I came down to, to making the, the guns in game, we're actually like measuring the distance between you and the geometry and we're actually playing content there. So every environment that you're in, the gun will sound different and the gun will change according to what you're surrounded by. There's so much different variations of music and weapons and destruction sounds and ambiences that no two checkpoints will ever sound the same. I was blown away. I mean, and Brian, who works with me, he is a gamer, and he actually played Army of Two, the first game, quite a bit. He was pretty knocked out when he saw this. He's just like, this is just a huge advancement. Everything, the concept of the game, the storyline of the game, and hopefully people will feel that in the music.